Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my honor to have you guys here today, and uh, I'm very honored to uh, show my presentation here today. Uh, my thesis topic is Design of 5 degree of Freedom Robots Come Project for Grabbing, Positioning, and uh, Recommendation based on Arduino. And uh, first and foremost, I'm really grateful to my honorable supervisor and all the respectful teachers uh, who who supported me all the time and this is here I am today now. So my, my topic content is uh, I will introduce about my introduction and background, structural design and hardware design, hardware big system, robotic and kinematic model and sim motion simulation. That is the most uh, emphasized I give in this project. So let's go one by one at first. So here uh, the main idea of this of this project is I choose a OpenMP to take uh, to uh, to take the uh, picture uh, image uh, image uh, image uh, grabbing and then it will take the information to Arduino as a mother controller and then they will uh, they will put the information to the server and my robotic arm will work and uh, the purpose of this research is to enhance robotic arm capability automation and efficiency in this part as we are in 21 century. Uh, we, we need to reduce the labor cost and uh, to make automation everything is really important these days. Another one is advance of robotic technology. So is there, no, there is no doubt how much important that topic is these days. And fusion of machine uh, vision. Uh, I will discuss about precision and uh, efficient movement, emerging research area and practical implement. Practical implement. So if I come one by one, in my left side, this is my structure design in SolidWorks, and this is the structure design of my car, what can move the arm to one place to another, and this is the original real life view. And uh, if I move from uh, next slide, this is my uh, planning path. I will start from this place uh, as my uh, as my program. I have to go 520 centimeter, and then I will scan the QR code because uh, a automation system is not, it's not like we work only another single task. We are trying to give in several tasks, so it will take the uh, take the direction from this place, and then it will move here. It will collect the goods or anything uh, we want to move one place to another, and then it will come here and then put it in the warehouse or basement, whatever we can say. So this is a, a code interface here. So I already described everything from this place. So let's have a look, a short video, what we really do actually in real life world. So you can see, it just took the uh, scan from here. Now it's going to 520 centimeter. It's going there and grabbing the goods. Look at here. I give the uh, instruction to take RGB, red, green, and blue. So it should not take the blue one. It should take the red. Uh, it should take the green one. And then now it should take the red one, the blue one. So this is how I can change my pattern, like uh, red, green, blue, red, blue, green. So I can change it very uh, in, in different way. And the direction is given. So red one will become first, and then green one will become second, and the blue one will become next. So yeah. So here is the total. Uh, total activity of this of this arm, and if we move in the next part, so here robotic arm kinematic model and the motion simulation. So in this part, so in this part uh, we can see I try to uh, simulate in using MATLAB. So here's some diagram in MATLAB, and definitely I have to use some mathematical terms so to make it control it very well, and here. Uh, in, in this part here, uh, th th this one is uh, the simulation in uh, MATLAB. What I did here, I took all the joint part by part, and then I I, I explained, I analyzed all the motion because in this part motion is very important to come to to uh, to, uh, to explain to control a machine. We have to control all the motion control there. So from this part you can see when when you take you will take the regular joint from left 
from right, upper, lower, inside, inner. I took totally seven places to do the simulation and using the yellow line, if this is this is x-axis and this is y-axis. So x-axis means I am taking only three seconds simulation and y-axis, uh, this axis will, will take like minus 20 newton to 15 newton force, how much it can uh, take. Uh, so as you can see, this is interface of Adam software. I saw that Adam software is the most efficient software. I can analyze all the uh, all the control parts. I mean, uh, all the momentum and uh, all the vertical uh, horizontal motion. And uh, yeah, here here have another body sinusoidal motion and uh, tra uh, transitional motion. So sinusoidal motion is like sinusoidal motion is like. When I'm giving the rotational motion, it's taking sinusoidal motion. When it's just straightforward, it will take us a transitional motion. So if we go to the next slide, we can see a short simulation in Ada. Let's have a look here. I put all the joints in different way, and then if we run and get the uh, chart from this software, we could see, we could relate all the parts and all the uh, all the all the joints. So if we so if we change, if we take the uh, one uh, gripper and another another joint, we could we could get a different kind of graph. So what's this detect? It's taking three second uh, simulation and minus twenty to fifteen newton force. So we can we can discuss like yeah my 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 project is working really well or not. So this is the total total work of this uh, Adam software. Uh, and uh, let's go to our next slide. So in this slide, I focus on recognition and grabbing. So in this recognition and grabbing, I already told you on this I'm using an open MP camera to take the data from real life world, and it will detect the color and different kind of shape. And then if we go next slide, um, we could see I used some uh, some definitely I used code. And here uh, another, another important thing is UART, Universal Acceleration uh, Receiver Transistor. So using this code, I, I, I can go the data very clearly. And I told you before, as to use a automated software, it's not like using only certain things. You have to make it different. So this is one direction of the work. This is another direction of the work. I have to explain everything. So you see, I use OpenMP to detect. And I'm giving, now here you can see, one, two, three. That means I'm giving red, green, and blue. So it should detect one. So in this way, it should detect one by one, red, green, and blue. So if we go to the next slide here, I use some mathematical term in uh, OpenMP to get the, get the original work. And in conclusion, our robotic arm successfully worked. And uh, it's very coefficient uh, when it works like we already did it one month ago. And definitely it's by the of freedom robotic arms. And uh, it's programmed very well, adapted for different tasks. And uh, about like, uh, every time I love to in, uh, share my data with others, I did also here, in my website, if, uh, if uh, go to the blog, anyone can access all the data, code, what he have to do, all the instructions, how you can like build this uh, project very well. So I'll, this, this is the blog I wrote like five days ago. And if you, if you go down, we can see, they have a link. So like anyone can access the data or, and code what I did last, last five months. So yeah, that's it. Uh, it's all about my presentation. Thank you. Good job. Uh, I have some questions. Uh, you want to uh, do uh, simulation. Uh, you, you, make, yeah, you show us uh, your good performance in your simulation. But I have a question. Uh, how much uh, the simulation uh, 
give a good uh, help to your experiment. All right, so a real life experiment is like we just finished the work. But if we want to think about it for future work, we have to know, like, is this structure is very strong to, to use this idea in a bigger place. Like, we use just a small project, like, right? But we can make it like a uh, boom truck, crane, a lot of things. So, like, to take this force in bigger shape. So we just can imagine and calculate the force and idea using the software I used for the simulation. Yeah. So, so in your uh, simulation, uh, in the uh, robotic uh, arm, mm -hmm. um, can you give me an example of uh, the simulation uh, to help, uh, help the experiment? Yes, here of all the code written in MATLAB so that I can get the simulation very well, for, for, not for real life. This is in paper and pen. But the real life project I already shown you before. And uh, yeah, so this is the total simulation for So if you uh, didn't have the simulation, maybe the experimental will be very difficult uh, to do the Yeah. For real life experiment, definitely it's costly and it's next. hard to do for one people. But in software, you can just you can just imagine how it should be. At least you have some logic to how it should be in end of software. Yeah. And uh, the disadvantages uh, of your uh, design not show us some disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. All right. So. Uh, Talk about this advantage. Like to take this project almost five months, definitely we could have a lot of disadvantages, like lack of information. Even, uh, even because I'm not uh, Chinese, I can't access all the website. So I just took, I just took the information what I can get from online. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.